Uh, all right, so uh, so yeah, um, I took a chance. I bought a used uh, turbo timer that was previously installed in Evo, and for some reason it's not working. Out. Like I said, I took a chance. It's only forty bucks. I know these things are worth like a hundred something dollars, so I don't feel so bad. It is forty dollars. Um, I got pretty much a brick, but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and we'll see. So I open this up. I opened up my Type Zero before. It's not too hard. It just comes apart after you take these screws off. We'll see if there's any kind of da obvious damage inside. But, uh, this SOL. Like I said, I ain't no electronics expert, but we can just open it up and then we'll see if there's anything, uh, anything obviously, you know, problem. As you can see, the other one works properly. So, okay. it's actually the circuit board is installed upside down. Um, yeah, looks uh, looks fine to me. Well, you obviously want to look for some fuses, some kind, of, something burnt. You know, I don't see anything like that. It looks like it's in good shape. Now I'm wondering if I install the um, if I install the tachometer and the speedometer, would it start working? I, I don't think so, dude. I think so I took it apart, and uh, all these the stupid buttons fell out. Uh, there's one of them. I think there's one of them still hiding in there. I hope I remember which. Well, I have the other one. I could use the other one as a guide to figure out which one goes where. There's three. There should be. There's another button somewhere that fell somewhere. I have to go find it. But anyway, so. Here's some interesting, uh, so this is the innards of a HKS Type 1 turbo timer. There it is. Um, so I took, I separated the every, all the plastics and, uh, and something I noticed is, uh, look at this. Uh, what's going on here, man? There's, uh, there's a hole there. That's not supposed to be like that. And then when I look here, see that red wire that's supposed to go to that hole is not connected there. So I think I may have found that problem. So uh, what I'm going to do is uh, bust out the soldering iron and solder that back in. And uh, that's why it's not powering up. It's not getting power. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Everything else looks okay. Um, this, is, this one has a hole. There's a hole right here that's not going anywhere. So obviously it's probably not being used. Uh, but that obviously, that, that looks like a problem right there. So yeah, like I said... That's why I took it apart to see look look for any kind of obvious uh, defects with it, and there it is. So, so I'm gonna go bust out the soldering iron and solder that back in, and then hopefully it'll work. Uh, everything else looks okay, so hopefully I can put it back together again properly too, because uh, I have three out of four buttons now. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, right, there it is. Yeah. So like I said, uh, I don't need a degree in electrical engineering or electronics engineering. To tell you that 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 is uh, that looks that doesn't look right, right? <laughs> so I'll try to figure it out. Maybe something out. Uh, maybe I can still salvage this. It'll be good. Um, it makes for a good vlog. I'll tell you that. Okay, here's a mega here. We're doing some late night soldering action. So here it is. I got the uh, I got the um, HKS Type One turbo timer here. And we're gonna go fix that that problem we found earlier. So, um, so uh, what I think is the problem is uh, there's a lot of stress on that one wire there. So they didn't they didn't like really uh, didn't do a good job of uh, of uh, zip tying it properly. So what we got to do is cut that zip tie out, cut the zip tie out there, and then the, and then cut the zip tie out. Um, Resolder the wire in there, and then, uh, and then, um, and then zip tie it again. Because uh, I guess over the years, this these wires have gotten kind of crusty and hard, and then you know it's it's creating a pressure point on the board. So I just need to resolder that. So I'm gonna go snippy snip this guy here, and then we'll redo it. After. I'm surprised this doesn't even have a grommet on it. Okay, so now it's free. It's free. So there's our problem wire. 
the, uh, the red wire here, as you can see. And I'm going to try to shove it back in the hole as much as I can. If I can, I'll have to ream the hole out a little bit and get it through there. So let me just get everything in the place. Okay, so I can't get, I can't, I tried to push the wire through the hole, but it won't go all the way through. I think another reason uh, that came off is because it's not soldered properly. Um, see, see how all these uh, have wires sticking through it before they they soldered it on. This one, the wire isn't sticking out of it. It's uh, it's just like kind of touching it, and that was it. Um, that because because uh, uh, the tip looked pretty clean to me, pretty clean. So, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unsolder. I'm gonna desolder all this. So we're gonna get our little. Oh boy. Okay. So there's my soldering iron. This is some. This is a heavy-duty soldering iron right here. So hopefully we don't burn the. Hopefully we don't burn anything with it. Too bad. Uh, you like how I'm just using a can here. To keep it from burning stuff. Uh, what we need. What we need is. Oh damn it! I took it off for no reason. What we need is in right there. need is this guy right here, the soldering sucker thing. So I'm going to go to solder that. Okay. I apologize for my messy working area. So, I'm go fix this bad boy. Okay, need some flux. I'm surprised. I don't know what kind of uh, I don't know what kind of solder they used on that, but uh, it uh, it is not wanting to melt. It's not. Okay, there we go. Actually, I probably don't even have to suck it. I don't know. So I think I need to clean this. <laughs> okay, that might be enough to hole bigger. So I'm gonna try to push. Try to push the wire through somehow. It's hard to do if I can't see what I'm doing. Alright. Hopefully it'll go through. And now it won't. Kinda of does. Kinda of does, but not really. Man, okay. I may have to. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can just ream it out with a little pile or something. Alternatively, I can I can make the wire a little smaller. Let's see if that fits through now. Hopefully, I don't break the other wires off too. Okay, there we go. I got it through. As you can see the wire is kind of poking its head out there. Now, like it's supposed to, I kind of want it to poke out as much as the other wires are. I think that's about as far as it'll go because that's as far as the jacket is cut. So, but that looks okay. Looks okay. All right, and all we have to do is uh, add some solder to it, and we're done. Okay. 
it's hard to do it so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, probably not the best solder job, but that'll do the trick, I think. So it's just on the bottom part. Um, yeah, and I, I wouldn't be worried. All the stuff is connected to each other, so um, basically what what um, what that wire is connected to is a relay right here. There's a little relay. Tiny little relay here, and you see relay right here. It's connected to that that relay right there. So, so I'm guessing that uh, it opens like a opens the relay. The relay opens and it provides power, or it gets power from that wire. So there we go. We fixed it. So it looks a lot better than it did before, right? I hope that does the trick. All right, so. So now what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to flex this wire all the way down because that's probably the worst that's probably the position we're going to have it in. Flex the wire all the way down. And then uh, and then I'm going to zip tie it again. Try to put it where it was before. So before I put, before I totally zip tie it, I want to put some tension on it like this, so I know there's enough slack for for the rest of the wire. Because what I'm thinking is, they, when they soldered that in, the the slack wasn't proper. You know? Okay, that should be good. And then now most of the pressure is like right here instead of like on the wires. So. Hopefully that does the trick. All right. See my thumb. <laughs> um, so what we got to do now? Snip the tail off of that. Boom. All right. And we just put the turbo timer back together. So I'm just gonna put it back together. It's not. It's not that hard. All right. So uh, so it's fixed. Uh, now we gotta go take it back out to the gallant and plug it back in, and then see if it works. But uh, I'll I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, like I said, it's late night soldering job. I don't want to work it on the car at night. All right. So that looks. It looks like uh, everything. Looks like the surgery went pretty well. Hopefully that lasts for uh, many many years to come. Um, a lot of power does go through there. I mean, that's the 12 volt power. That's the power that it provides to the. I don't know. I don't really know what the ignition provides power to the the, the starter and all that stuff. <laughs> all right, he's like out. All right, he's been here. I got it all back together. There it is. Uh, so I I kind of messed up when I soldered it. I said like. Um, I pointed the the harness downward before I soldered it. Um, it was. It should have been actually the opposite. It should have been the other way because the the board is actually upside down in this. Um, so like, the the circuit board, the flat part is on the top part, and then the meat of the stuff, the stuff that's on top of the board, is on the bottom. So, so I got it backwards. So hopefully that won't give me any problems. I I put a zip tie. Um, I put a zip tie. Like I said, I put a zip tie on the inside, and then I put one on the outside. So. Hopefully that that'll relieve the stress as much stress as possible on the wiring because um, I don't want to break any more solders, you know. Um, so it should be good to go. Um, we just got to go uh, put it back in the gallant and see if it runs. Uh, 
can't wait. <laughs> and then, and then the also dreadful part of uh, figuring out how I'm gonna tap those wires on the um, on the freaking uh, the ECU. But uh, we'll figure that out when we get there. I have to find an ECU diagram. Uh, I have one around here somewhere. Um, if not, I can just use it on my phone. All right, but I already know which wires I'm gonna get, I'm gonna um, I'm going for. Uh, we'll we'll tackle that when we get there. All right, here's me out.